Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Preferably not already filled out this time. We're now in orbit of a stellar bay, Captain. Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are... Wait! Don't go just yet. I've been practicing for this. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay. Home of the freshest Sal tuna. Well, there's one for the logs. I'm even gonna give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides... We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons, but that's all outside our walls. Oh, sure. They make Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, 
Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kind Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters... Oh, and if you're headed that way... I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. Do you think you could check with Seal? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the great- I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got- Everyone's heard of him. Even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. Ah, uh, you must be a- Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. It's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away, getting so I can't tell the tell the. Don't interrupt. It's rude. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach, and dig it out. Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every. Right. What are you staring? Wait. Ooh, Charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Nice change of pace. I mean, it's... Outstanding! What are you doing? Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of... I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily... I know they make me see straight for a little while. Velma seem out of sorts to you. She's always cranky. No. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. What can Auntie Abigail do? Yes, indeed. Someone's got a... Oh, but I am. Bless your little heart. You must be... Now, dearie, who's this pickup for? I may not be a fresh young f Much as I'd love to. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed.
Now, now, there's no keeping secret. Also, I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I... Indeed. Now, how about you... Oh, her... It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if... Now I've gone and said too much, <laughs> and... If so, I would love to know where. Sublights... Believe me, there's... Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the Flower of Enlightenment. On the way, he tried some... rather dim... The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Chin up, dearie. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own cathanoid. Don't be surprised. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse... Hello again, dearie. And what a helpful young man. Who's your lucky friend? Oh. It's none of my business. Now I've gone... Well, I'm... Dr. Will... If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own. Wrap mask and painted eyes, right here. Thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh. Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about... Oh, law, oh, Captain. Please, won't you go... Well, I, I, I guess I can't ask. I've got some bits saved up for a rainy day. I'll give you ev- Thank you. Oh, I know. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. 
And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think. Rising. Concentrated amount of scum present ahead. You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. <laughs> 